the climate change the system doesn't change uh, uh, literally overnight. It, it changes um, by degrees, as it were. And um, we are already approaching the lower limit, the 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels that the Paris Agreement seeks to keep the global warming within. Every decade has been warmer than the previous decade, and the trend continues to be upwards. So um, if you just sort of run it forward and extrapolate from the current trends, uh, we will cross uh, a global average annual temperature of 1.5 degrees uh, at some point, uh, perhaps in even the next five years, uh, as the, our report indicates. But uh, eventually, all, all the years um, could be above 1.5 degrees and, and beyond. The uh, Arctic area temperatures are likely to be three times the global average warming for the next five northern hemisphere winters. And when you think about what that might do to the polar ice caps and the Greenland ice sheet, for example, this has planetary implications because of the effect that has on sea level rise and circulation patterns. When we look at what's happening now, take South Asia, um, we have had extended periods uh, in the recent weeks of temperatures over 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, those are temperatures at which it's very difficult for people to, to work, for example, um, for agriculture to be uh, practiced. And so we're, we don't need to look into the future to see that the impacts of uh, climate variability and change and extremes are, are growing uh, increasingly um, frequent and severe. The climate that we have now is a product of the atmosphere that we had 20 or 30 years ago. And if we wait another 20 to 30 years, when we have a full on climate crisis going on, and then decide that it's time to really do something serious about reducing emissions, uh, it will be too late.